watercolors. Today we have something that's pretty rare for this channel. It is a review of a product and a company. And today's review is of Legendary Lead Company. So, a little bit of backstory. If you watch this channel a lot, you'll know that I'm into fountain pens, especially vintage fountain pens. So I like collecting and um, utilizing and restoring vintage pens. I recently started moving in the direction of also adding their counterparts and working with um, vintage mechanical pencils from those companies. So it's uh, really cool, it's really fun. It's uh, something that I really don't know a lot about. And I came across a, a, a vintage writing tool that I really had no idea what it was. So I did a little bit of Googling and it eventually led me to the owner of this company. The um, owner of this company has a blog about vintage writing and instruments and he has a lot of stuff that he has um, produced. If you look through it, and this is just his uh, basic store, there's a writing instrument museum, but if you go to the actual store itself, he has books that he's written on um, mechanical pencils, on vintage writing instruments going back to 1799 with the patents and whatnot. Um, there's a whole big blog that he has put together. He has a lot of stuff. So I came across this um, website, came across this, and it seemed like this guy is the source to um, find out information on these vintage writing tools. So I contacted him directly, talked back and forth. Very nice gentleman. And he helped uh, me figure out what the, the vintage tool was that I had and when it was potentially made or at least uh, gave me an idea. He also talked to me about the nibs that came with it and whatnot. So it was a really cool experience. And being that I had a great experience with this guy, I was like, I want to order from him. So I have vintage Eversharp fountain um, uh, pencils, mechanical pencils. Now, with these, they take a very specific size lead, which is 0.64 inch or 1.1 millimeter leads. When I've looked online for that, there is one brand that I think still makes that size. It seems to be very rare. And a few different websites have that. Of course, when you search 1.1 millimeter lead, this guy shows up right away. So I think he might have old stock from other companies, from uh, previous um, businesses that took place, people that made the 1.1 millimeter leads. If you go through it, there's a little bit of information on it. And like this one, the wet noodle. Um, maybe it wasn't that one. There's one that says they had found an old stock and they kind of put it together and they compared it to other ones that were taking place. I, I genuinely don't know that much about it, but it's pretty exciting. It's weird getting excited about mechanical pencils and lead. Anyway, so I placed an order with them and I figured from the standpoint of utilizing and writing and for art. So with pencil lead, there's different number system. Um, as you go higher into the B's, they get darker. As you get higher into the H's, they get lighter. It has to do with um, the clay content that's mixed into them and how smooth they write and how much uh, graphite, I guess, is laid down. Anyway, they come in these little vials, which is really cool. It makes it feel like you're working with, um, with, with fountain pen ink, which is always like a fun thing to play around with, very tactile. And anyway, so I ordered a few and he said, oh, since you ordered so much, uh, I'm going to throw one in for you. So he threw one in for me to try. And this is my first time trying any of them. I'm going to just show the wet noodle one and the pile, pile driver. So these are kind of the ends of the spectrum. And I have various paper in front of me. I have the Rhodia pad. I have a, um, this is the Hobby Lobby brand sketch pad. And then I have the paper, the uh, copy paper. So being a lefty, so let's write it out, legendary.
legendary lid. Okay, this right here, this is the wet noodle. Which is 5B plus, and it's the 1.1 millimeter. And this is in a vintage Eversharp fountain pen. It's weird utilizing a pencil because I've used ink for so long. I'm just trying to get used to it. Uh, I think I mentioned, you know, being a lefty, you know, there's issues that we have with graphite, but I'm learning how to write underhand. So this one right here is Legendary Lead Company. This is their pile driver. So you can see the difference. Hopefully the camera is picking that up. This is the pile driver. Which is, what is it, 4H. So this is harder, it's gonna come off lighter. And the 1.1 millimeter. So the goal with this is, if I incorporate this into art, is to have a light lead, dark lead, um, for different shading and drawing. So let's uh, move to another piece of paper just so we can see what it looks like on all of them. Now, of course, like anybody else, I'm going to say, excuse my handwriting. So let's try to take it slow. It's a, a little weird because when you are relearning script, you want to write it slow and flow and get everything nice and neat but then when you're filming something and people are watching well hopefully people are watching you're thinking oh I need to do it fast I, I don't want to be <laughs> judged <laughs> it's a legendary lead company this is our uh, wet noodle again that's the 5b and that's 1.1 millimeter this paper is a little bit more uh, tan. That was the Rhodia. This is the Hobby Lobby. Legendary Lead Company, Paw Driver. This is 4H. Now, let's look at the last one. This is uh, just normal copy paper. I'll take this one slow. Noodle. Just the five B. And then last but not least, we have our power driver. So this is the four H. Let me move this. Lead Company, Pile Driver. And that's the 1.1 millimeter. So, ultimately, you should be able to see the difference between these on all these papers. I'm catching a little bit of shadow here, so let me move that down. Let's move this over in this direction. 
I'm not sure how far we are into this video. I don't want to make it too long. I just want to kind of, you know, just put this out there. So very cool company, um, very cool concept. So this is like the idea that there's people out there that are historians that are putting together information on um, fountain pens, writing tools, uh, mechanical pencils, writing instruments from a time period where we, I guess we don't have much knowledge of it. And from what I understand and what I've seen on the blog, they go through and they look at um, advertisements, they look at um, newspaper articles, um, things like that, and just kind of compile and connect the dots. It seems like a very weird, interesting um, mystery that they're just putting together and they're trying to solve. And it's, I think it's really important that we have people out there that are doing that and um, adding to the history and the importance of um, these writing implements and the tools. So if you're into fountain pens, if you're into um, those, check out the mechanical pencil counterparts. And if you do come across 1.1 millimeter lead where you need uh, pens that utilize that, check out Legendary Lead Company. They also, um, just to kind of give you an idea, they have the 0.9 millimeter lead, which I think is the Eversharp. No, that's the Estabrook brand, would be 0.9. Um, 1.02 English size, I don't know what ones. And then they have common ones as well. The five millimeter, seven millimeter, the um, two millimeter. I saw a drawing pen on Blick that utilizes that. There's one that's 3.2. Yeah, so they have a lot of cool stuff. Unusual exotic sizes. Yeah, so they have a lot on there. So definitely check them out. Um, very good people. So I'm gonna sign off. I hope uh, this was interesting. Oh, it was a change of pace um, and a unique kind of um, review. And I'll be back soon with more art. I think today we'll do some um, we'll do some uh, portrait sketching. All right, have fun, have a good day, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.